Welcome to the south coast of Iceland and one of the more scenic waterfalls here. Waterfalls are just common everywhere in Iceland. So many places you look, there's just water plunging over beautiful cliffs. And this is Selja Landsfoss along the south coast of Iceland. Um, you can see this whole cliff face here continues, not just where the waterfall is, but down along this entire trend of the cliff face here. So we're going to spend a minute here to look at the waterfall. We'll actually walk behind it and glean what we can about the geologic story. Thanks for joining me. I'm geology professor Sean Wilsey out here with a group of students and checking out some of the sites and the geology as well. So this cliff face here, we're actually not too far from the coast. The coast is just a few kilometers down to the south here. And this is actually an ancient sea cliff. So this was where uh, the coastline was a few thousand years ago and all this land out here you can see in the flat valley out here where the road is this has all been built up and aggraded as streams have come down over the last few thousand years it's built up the land from the bottom and so now the coast is a lot further away so what we'll do here is we'll walk the little path around behind it and go check out the back side of the waterfall get a nice view from there and then we'll head up to another waterfall that sits adjacent to this. As we start heading behind the waterfall we can see the top unit here is actually a basalt that's capping the cliffs and forming the actual vertical face at the top of the unit. Then there's a lot of layered sediments in here um, presumably maybe some tufts or some hyaloclastite that make up that part of the cliff face there but we'll see what we can see once we get in behind the waterfall great view of it there and there's a good chance we're going to get pretty wet going this way so we'll see if we can move through quickly with the gopro getting misted here and we might have to go quick Woo! Kind of had to sprint through that section. You can see the falls here from the back side. See if we can keep going where it's a little bit drier. So here we are behind the falls. Right where it hits the plunge pool here. And I'll put the height of the waterfall in the video. Then if we look at the layers back here, we can see there's some, I suppose more of a kind of a conglomerate, lots of class of various sizes glued together, maybe glacial deposits, or possibly stream deposits. Bit of a mixture of things packed together. A little, little better exposure over here of some of the rocks. Here's the outside of the entrance to the waterfall. You can see where it's cut this notch through the softer sedimentary material. And then you can see the waterfall at the back there. So it's basically eroded from the edge of the cliff back over time through this softer pile of sedimentary material. Again, might be outwash, could be uh, bulk, or, uh, glacial. I don't think it's volcanic in origin, just looking at it. So. 
Another quick look here. Pretty spectacular. Really neat setting in there. Well, thanks for joining me for this look at some of Iceland's scenic waterfalls, some of the geology we've seen there. Two very different waterfalls, one with a resistant cap rock, Seljanlandfoss here, where it pours over the top. It's undercut a little bit, probably by uh, erosion from the waves when this was a sea cliff. And the other fall we looked at, whose name I can't pronounce, uh, does not have a resistant cap rock at top. So it's actually cut through those softer sediments back to form a narrow little slot canyon from the entrance of the cliff face into where the waterfall is. So thanks again for joining me, Geology Professor Sean Wilsey. Appreciate your support of the channel and take care.